So we had the web 2011. So you worked on the old PC project, right? And yes. uh, so what do you think about what you did there? I think the one laptop per child is, is, is I, I wouldn't speak of it in the past. You know, it's like a revolutionary idea. I mean, three million children have it right now, right? And, and in some places, every child has one, like Uruguay and Peru. But um, for me, it's a project that has really shown to everyone, everyone around the world, that design that is refined, you know, that has good materials, good quality, uh, that has, you know, that is memorable, you know, that is, that is very considering of, of its, um, you know, of its audience, the kids, that that kind of design can be affordable. It can be, it can reach millions. It can, you know, make, you know, kids, school children all around the world, you know, really, really happy and really excited. In fact, quite a few projects have taken the example of the one not top of child um, and have made successes in completely different areas. So it's really, a, a, I think, a, a great example of how far design can go in making it attainable and universal in a way. Because we as humans, we, we need to, to fix solve the problem of bad education in the world. It's kind, of, it's kind of like a huge project. It's kind of like a governmental project. Are you, are you basically NASA? For, what, what was that project? I mean, uh, Yes, it is a huge project with, a, with an immense amount of um, energy and you know, in one thing to solve something big. And I think, you know, it's still ongoing. I mean, we're, we actually are going to be showing a tablet version uh, um, in, a, in a, you know, a couple of months. So it's, um, I think, I think it's, it's one of these projects that has created so much excitement in the technology space, so much controversy. Um, you know, as a designer, you know, do we want to, do we want to solve everything? You know, we probably can't. But in collaborating with technology companies or in collaborating with government agencies, we can probably go quite a bit further because the kind of ideas that we bring, the kind of um, of openness, you know, that we that we sort of pull into um, into these organizations um, is is new to them. And I think I think this. Collaborating with nonprofits and governmental agencies for me has been really rewarding. I would argue that the whole netbook area was uh, a reaction to old PC. So basically, thanks to you, there's uh, 200 million uh, cheaper laptops in the world. I mean, thanks to the old PC project and your design uh, well, making that successful, right? It is. I mean, it is true that when we showed the one laptop a child. Nobody, nobody in the industry, you know, nobody at, at, at in Redmond or nobody uh, uh, in Austin, Texas, or you know, no, nobody in, in in Cupertino said that agreed that what people wanted was something lighter, robust, uh, more practical. They all thought that what we need is a giant hard drive and a crazy, you know, a large graphics card in order to 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 play first shooter games. I mean. That was the standard then, and I do think that OLPC accelerated the, um, the, you know, the the adoption of this idea that actually computing can be more specific to the needs of a certain user, which are lighter, cheaper, you know, uh, smaller, more practical. And look at what we're carrying now. He's like. Thin laptop, so what do you think? About, what do you think about uh, this tablet? You know, I haven't tried it yet. This is a French I'm, French I'm tablet. Very, I'm very familiar with Arcos, and I've had a few Arcos products, but I haven't tried this. Why did you have the Arcos products? Did you think they were cool? Um, well, uh, they were. Some French people gave them to me to yeah. watch videos, and I thought they worked well. Yes. Because my my uh, theory, I have a website for Arcos as well. Uh, my theory is they invented a tablet in 2004, uh, Arm Park tablet. And uh, for the last 10 years, basically, Apple has been copying Arcos every single time and making billions of dollars out of it. But that's 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 a different you question. From a spec standpoint, or well, just uh, the, the, they made maybe probably a better design than Arcos every time, and the marketing, and it's uh, it's all about cash, right? How much cash you invest, and that means uh, you get more products out. That's my theory. Obviously, you're an Arcos. Uh, uh, I'm an Arcos fan. Fan, yes. So, so the tablet is a cool interface, right? Uh, how much in your company are you involved in, in knowing everything about technology to make things work? And what we're involved in is 
looking at technology and doing everything we can to make it disappear as much as possible. So the technology side isn't um, isn't the friction and the experience. The experience is first. Um, but also, you know, to me, technology needs to be something durable. It needs to be something that will, you know, that will last. That will. It's not, you know, these cheap phones that you buy. And you throw them away, you know, after six months. I mean, I think I think technology has to mature to the point where, you know, the the, the objects that we use are have a sense of longevity, you know, are fully upgradable, are fully, um, you know, and we're doing that with a jam box, for example, you know, it's a product we can upgrade. We're doing that with um, the headsets that I designed with Jawbone, you know, so so I think it's, um, it's the next generation. What do you think about Android, the ice cream sandwich? Um, you know, I think... Uh, I there's, think this, uh, there's this cool designer who's like the head head of that project. You know, he's being interviewed everywhere at Google. That Matthias Duarte. Yes. What do you think about what's going on there? Met, I haven't met him, but I uh, I would love to meet him. Um, you know, I think I think there is. I think it's important that there are other perspectives on mobile. That there are other perspectives on tablets. Um, I don't think we want to go to a place where there's just there's just one or two or three sort of single uniform uh, 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 just you know ways to do things so um, you know I do think that that there's cross-pollination between all these ideas um, and it's important to see them and experience them so I like to work on projects and on products that are differentiated that you know that want to be unique that want to propose a new and different experience and I, I really think that's where the world is going so I'm half Swiss half Danish uh Which one is the best for design? Is that a bad question? I'm half Swiss, half Turkish. Turkish. Uh, which one's the best for design? Do you like these Danish? The whole thing about Danish design is that cool or? Yeah, I've, I've worked a lot, you know, in, in uh, with uh, Danish companies, and I. Denmark is um, has has this incredible design prize called Index, which we're not top, you know, for child we see. Yeah. Um, you know, Denmark is is. Both sort of the history of design, a lot of the history of design is uh, in Denmark, but they're also moving towards um, some very interesting ways to kind of make that global in a futuristic kind of way. So Denmark's been great. So the tech sector is very fun. It's fun to be working there, right? And how, how, how can you manage doing all these projects? You have to choose very carefully or? Well, in partnerships, you always have to choose. You need to, you know, want to have lunch and dinner and breakfast and get calls from the same people in the middle of the night if you're going to have a partnership. So you better choose those, you know, the people you're going to be partners with um, uh, uh, in this way. Um, and you know, you want to invest in, in things that you strongly believe in, that you, that you truly love, and that you truly have uh, hope for, or that you truly have a vision for. So it's a very exciting, very fast, this kind of environment, but in my opinion, what makes a difference is, long, is longevity. Staying there for a long time, evolving a brand over a period of time, not just doing a three months project and walking away. I don't think that works. That's why partnerships are what I look for. A way to stay with a company for for a long period of time, you know, build the brand with design. As you do with OLPC, technology is there to solve problems in society. And at some point, it's going to be amazing how technology is going to help improve everything, no, in life. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm um, you know, I'm enthusiastic about technology. And for sure, as we go into more and more technology, we're going to stumble, we're going to make a few mistakes. There's going to be a few things that 10 years from now, we're going to look back at our generation and we're going to say, how naive were we or how, you know, how, uh, you know, how much lack of insight did we have? That said, overall, I do think um, I'm very hopeful. As a designer, using the medium of technology is an incredible tool that um, that I've discovered, you know, in the '90s when I moved to San Francisco.